Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsors of this video being Omaze, and I'm super excited to be working with them to give you the opportunity to win $100,000 in cash and to support the great cause of Meals on Wheels. So you can go to omaze.com forward slash Joel Hansen to see how Omaze launched with a mission to transform typical charitable giving. To date, Omaze has raised over $150 million for charity, and with the June 100,000 Big Dream Monthly Giveaway, you could win $100,000 cash. Yes, that's pretty life-altering. Whether you wanted to climb Mount Everest or invest it into Meals on Wheels, which you're already helping, that's what I would do. Let's just say there's a lot you can do with $100,000. So if you're not familiar, Meals on Wheels has been providing a vital lifeline to people across America for years. Decades, in fact. And what that's lifeline? Food. Through Meals on Wheels, volunteers bring healthy foods, a smile, and can make such a difference to individuals like homebound seniors, as this means they'll actually get the nourishment for their body and soul that they need. And what a better way to support local member programs and strengthen communities one senior at a time by also potentially winning $100,000. So for your chance to win $100,000 cash, go to omaze.com forward slash Joel Hansen. And don't forget, your donations support the good works of Meals on Wheels. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we are in Hernando, Mississippi at Velvet Cream, which is also attached to the dip, Velvet Cream, here to do their Big Dipper Challenge. So basically, uh, from my understanding, this is, I don't think there's even a time limit. It's just like a one sitting challenge. You have to eat a big two pound burger. You have to eat a big side of their fries. You gotta go with bacon or barbecue or a uh, chili cheese. I went with uh, barbecue fries. Um, and then you'll have a 44 ounce milkshake, one of the Route 44 milkshakes since it's just off Route 44. So yeah, pretty much that's about it. Um, meal is $50, it is free if you complete it. If not, you pay 50 bucks. So let's have some fun. Other interesting note, there's actually no tables. So you eat off one of their benches and they bring you out a, like a dolly, like a cart. So it'll be my first challenge off the cart, but let's have some fun, let's eat the food. And let's get going. Everyone right, here with the challenge, we have a two pound burger. We have the uh, bacon fries, which is cheese, barbecue sauce, meat on it, and then the uh, big Oreo milkshake, 44 ounces. So that's about it. Let's get started here. Definitely a little hard, it's a little windy, and uh, interesting logistics, but let's have some fun. Right, everyone, so let's get started. Um, keep the buttons away, so how about we get started? We'll save the count of five, four. I'm just gonna start when my phone gets to 10, I guess. See how this if the light behaves. So uh, anyway, let's get started right now. Wish me luck. Good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Velvet Cream doing the Big Dip or you know whatever challenge, uh, which is a challenge I want to do for a very long time. So pretty simplistic, consisted of a, uh, bur a two pound burger, then you had the big loaded fries, which was very very large actually. I would say that probably could have weighed two pounds in itself. And then you had the big milkshake, which was giant. That's a 44 ounce milkshake. That's bigger than a liter, much bigger than a quart, etc. So very, very, um, like pretty sizable challenge and definitely a huge, big milkshake. Um, so with this challenge, there actually is no time limit. It's just kind of a one seating thing, which is pretty surprising. Um, but you are uh, facing a $50 price tag if you cannot complete it. Um, there have been a number of other individuals, like other readers who completed this before, like Randy Santel, that's how I knew of the challenge, uh, but many individuals, whenever they're going through the area, have tried this. And since I was kind of in the area, I definitely want to try it as well. So this area is literally right by Memphis, Tennessee, it's just a little further south, but you are technically in Mississippi. Um, Hernando, to be very specific, um, Hernando, Mississippi. Coming on two minutes in, the burger's gone, it was tasty. Like I said, kind of hard to work out these logistics. With everything blown away, but we this barbecue, fries with cheese, barbecue sauce, and pulled pork. Pretty good. I 
I also had a choice of fries, or just went normal. They could have got waffle fries. So the burger tasted pretty dang good. It was, uh, it wasn't like it was, it was, it was solid. Um, you know, it's kind of like a, kind of like a drive-in, you know, kind of style of place, I would say. Except you don't, theory, you know, theoretically they don't serve you at your car. Um, but then we had the big fries. I did go with the barbecue fries, um, which had some pulled pork on it and then a whole bunch of different barbecue sauces, cheeses, etc. Um, they're pretty tasty. Again, definitely a lot bigger and more dense, and there's a lot in here, a lot more than I realized was in here. Um, it's a very, very heavy, solid container. And again, you go with like waffle fries or normal fries, but I want normal fries just for, well, for fun. Some heavy fries. If you complete the challenge, you also do get a free t-shirt or and or they had some tank tops. So you had like t-shirt, tank top, you did have a little bit of a selection of variety. Um, the interest, I think the most interesting thing or memorable thing about this challenge is that they don't, again, they don't actually have tables. So it's really interesting that they do offer a challenge. So you have a lot of individuals like uh, who have tried this challenge in the past, bringing their own table, eating it off of truck beds, you know, etc. And um, but they do have this like little rolly cart dolly thing which you can't eat it off of. It just makes for a very interesting experience. You know, they do have the benches like I'm sitting on, but no actual tables to kind of eat on. So it's definitely, like I said, definitely a memorable one. Definitely interesting, uh, but yeah, nonetheless. Um, and then, uh, you know, hopefully we are going to be able to get to that milkshake. Um, I, the milkshakes here were incredibly bougie. They were incredibly thick. They had like so many fillings and toppings. Like, um, like I swear, like, I don't know, like in the Oreo milkshake, that root Oreo milkshake, there seriously must be like a half a pack of Oreos or something. It was crazy thick. About four and a half minutes in. Finish up the fries. <laughs> and the thickness of the of the milkshakes wasn't just coming from like uh, ice cream and like not a lot of liquid. It was so thick and clumpy because like in a good way, positive way, because there was so uh, like they had so much filling and whatever in these milkshakes. So you definitely get your values worth of um, you know your product in the milkshakes like I said if you want to you know same as you want like a Reese cup or a milkshake you are getting the craziest Reese cup milkshake you've probably ever had in your life it's a warm day in Mississippi how hot you think it is 95 90 yeah probably 95 he had, he had next to probably over 100 100 degree day at least we got a little breeze we do. And now we got a cold milkshake to wash it down. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, this is a thick milkshake, Oreo. Oreo for Larry. Damn, that is a that is a rich Oreo milkshake. A lot of Oreo in it. And we are done. Somewhere about maybe like six minutes, 50 seconds, something like that, 640. So that's a really nice challenge. Definitely a little uh, hard to work out with logistics. Cool, they have a cart though. Glad they offer this challenge. Apparently it's been around for like years. Like years and years, like 20, 30 years. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Probably get a meal for free, which is sweet. And we get a t-shirt. Definitely got enough food though. It was really good. That was one of the most like thickest, most Oreo milkshakes I've ever had. So there's definitely don't skip on the toppings. 
So everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you like something happy, all the hungry, happy eating. If you're ever in the area, stop on by. We have a friend Jerry, and he's, he's been coming here since he was a young kid, eh? Uh, yeah, so like I said, the, the, this place has been here for like 70 some years, so definitely a nice staple in the Hernando area. But that's about it, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much it. You know, they, have a, they have a, do have a gallon ice cream challenge here I do hope to do one day. I don't think I could do it now, but hopefully I'll get back one day, so. Thanks everybody, huge thanks to Mississippi. Glad I got to make it back, and until uh, next time, happy eating. So a little history here, it actually started in 1947. Uh, basically they've been making ice cream and like it started, you know, literally from scratch and you know, looked a little, uh, looked a little different per se, a lot smaller. Then we, you know, we got the invention or the, you know, purchasing of ice cream machines, which is pretty crazy. The original, uh, you know, signs, little takeout window, 95, that the addition of the drive-through. And then here we are today, which is more recent with all the signs and everything. So pretty cool. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.